I grew up in a Christian home, and I remember that my parents had brought me through the prayer of accepting Jesus into my heart when I was younger, but I didn't really know what that meant. It wasn't until I went to Center Lake Bible Camp for the first time that I realized my faith in Christ was much more than just don't be a bad person. Instead, it's about surrendering my whole life into following Him. I'm in Bible quizzing, and my first year in it was really the first time I had gone into depth on the Gospel, through the book of Matthew. Jesus is Lord. He died on the cross for all our sins, so we could all go to heaven if we believed in Him and repented of our sin. In Matthew 28, 19-20, it says, Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you, and surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. This passage of scripture shows that no matter what we do in life, we must keep spreading the gospel according to God's will, and that we must trust in Jesus as our Lord and Savior. This passage also tells us that when we follow him, we should get ourselves baptized and share this news with the people around us. Life with Christ is so much better now that I know who he is, and whenever I'm feeling down, I can know that it is because of God's plan, and it will have some meaning eventually. I'm thankful that I can be a part of youth group and have a strong Christian family to set the example of following Jesus. I now know that heaven and hell are eternity, and if I were to choose one, I would want to choose the right one. Why don't you come and trust in the Lord Jesus Christ today? Alright, well, good afternoon everybody. I'm excited to be here. Um, as Chris mentioned, I get to baptize my son um, in just a moment. But before we, before we get into that portion, I want to tell, us, tell you guys just a little bit about baptism so that we kind of have an understanding of what's going on here. Um, this, this water, there's nothing special about it. There's nothing, you know, extra spiritual about this water. This is just the same water that comes up out of our drinking fountain in the back there. But what it is, is that we baptize as a representation of saying, yes, I am part of the family of God. I am saved by Jesus. I use the illustration of my wedding ring. Um, when, when I got married, my wife and I, we stood in front of the pastor and we said our I do's. We committed our lives to following each other. And as a symbol of our marriage, we wore a wedding ring. And in the same way, this baptism is just like that. It's a symbol of the marriage between us and our Lord Jesus Christ. And so um, with that said, I'm going to invite my son, Clifton Leslie, to come on down. Get ready. It's freezing cold. No, it's not cold. It's nice and warm. Woo! Don't baptize yourself yet. <laughs> No, that's good stuff. That's good stuff. I, I was so proud. I got to tell you guys out here and tell you, I was so proud of hearing your testimony. Um, I feel like you preached a sermon in, in that short time. And I think you preached your first sermon. And then right now, we're going to preach a second sermon by being baptized. This is a declaration to the world that you are a child of God, that you are saved. And so um, I want to ask you a couple questions just, to, just so that everybody else out here can hear you declare that same, uh, that same commitment you've made. So do you believe that Jesus Christ, that he came to us, that he died on the cross, but that he rose again? Yes. Yes. And have you committed your life to following him forever? Yes. Yes. And then because of your public declaration of faith, I'm going to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. What a, what a joy. I can't tell you, uh, you know, what a joy it is, even uh, just as a father, to be able to see uh, my children uh, growing up as followers of Jesus Christ. And, and my prayer 
is for you too, that you as well get to experience that same relationship with Jesus. Now, I'll tell you, uh, if, if you've never made that commitment to Jesus Christ, today, today can be your day. Uh, in just a short moment, we're going to close the service and we'll have the pastoral prayer team down front. And they would love to pray with you um, just to even just to know what it means to have a relationship with Jesus or any other need you might have. But if you're interested in being baptized, maybe you've never been baptized. You've never taken that action step. Uh, you can write that on a little connection card. Let one of us know. A great place to put that would be in our offering box. It's in the back um, after service. If you're going to give your offering or, or uh, just fill out a card, you can place that in the back as well. Um, we are going to close service here, though, and, um, and keep the joy, the celebration going all day as we look to our Savior Jesus and all he's done. Would you guys pray with me as we close today's service? Father God, we are so grateful to be in your presence. And thank you, Jesus, for the salvation that you offer each one of us when we surrender our lives to following you. And just like Clifton said in that video, uh, why don't why does everybody just come to know Jesus as their Savior? I pray that, that people actually take action on that and say yes to Jesus. We thank you for your Holy Spirit filling our lives, giving us uh, your presence with us every day. And God, I pray as we go from this place and we go for the rest of our day that we never forget to celebrate you and to look to you in every circumstance for our joy. We pray this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. You guys are dismissed. Go and have a blessed Sunday.